Hello and welcome to the Castro Valley High School Senior Awards Night, honoring the class of 2021. My name is Blaine Torpy and I am the principal of Castro Valley High School. I am pleased to represent the entire administrative team in this online broadcast saluting the accomplishments of this year's senior class. Even though we are not together physically for this event, we are together in our desire to acknowledge the many academic, athletic, artistic, and altruistic achievements of Castro Valley High School's graduating seniors. I'm speaking to you virtually, of course, and although some students have already received awards and scholarships, there are still plenty of surprises ahead. Before I continue, let me emphasize that we have done our best to give shout outs to as many deserving students as possible in this video program. Unfortunately, however, there was a tight timeline between when seniors completed their surveys in late April to our submission deadline in early May. As such, we realize that there will be some omissions and errors in this particular presentation. Nevertheless, we have a lot to celebrate and it's time to get on with the show. Our first presenter will be Joe Sutton, AP Art History teacher and scholarship committee member who will introduce the Faculty Foundation Awards. We are appreciative of the Castro Valley Education Foundation who has partnered with us for several years to salute students who have made a name for themselves in particular subject areas. Each Faculty Foundation Award represents years of hard work and excellence in multiple courses. The certificate, which each student will receive later, includes the student's name and field of expertise. This year I will announce the winners in four groups. The first group of winners comes from Career and Technical Education. Automotive Technology, Kalina Francois. Information and Communication Technology, Marina Limnios. Graphic Design, Malik Schumpert. Photography, Andrew Chung. Business and Marketing, Oliver Zhang. Engineering, Sydney Kundert. The next group of winners comes from the Visual and Performing Arts. Art History, Eden Hughes. Visual Arts, Charlie Pace. Instrumental Music, Christian DeCano. Vocal Music, Benjamin Chen. Dramatic Arts, Colby Bettis. The third group of winners comes from the World Languages Department, French, Rafi Overton, German, Anna Bay, Spanish Language, Tiana Cousy Johnson, Spanish Language, Sofia Siopak, Spanish for Native Speakers, Jasmine. Amezqua. Japanese, Kimi Morales Bito. Chinese Heritage, Mandy Ma. American Sign Language, Shailen Mosba. The final group of winners has been selected from the Science, Math, Social Studies, and English departments. Science, Aparna, Anand Kumar, Megan Chen, and Ian Wu. In mathematics, Miles Barden, Rafi Overton, Oliver Zhang. In social studies, Brittany Bin, Angelo Makayan and Connie Shen. In English, Miguel Bernas, Matthew G, and Alexis Treviso. Congratulations to all the Castro Valley Foundation Faculty Academic Achievement winners. 
Next up in our virtual Senior Awards Night program is Ms. Emmy Crow, who will explain the California State Seal of Biliteracy. Hello. The following students have demonstrated academic mastery in one or more languages in addition to English. To qualify for this special seal, which will be affixed to their diploma, students need to demonstrate both written and oral competency in two languages. This is an academic literacy, something to which all of us aspire. The CVHS faculty members salute each of these multilingual students. My name is Sean Fottrell, and I am the first presenter to recognize students who have demonstrated excellence in an individual course. Each department award is valuable, since it represents hours of effort and enthusiasm, as well as achievement. The CVHS faculty salutes these graduating seniors for their outstanding contributions in our classrooms. 
Again, I begin by recognizing students who have been identified for excellence in one course. I will be announcing names alphabetically. Alex Alburo, AP Economics. Sonia Andrade, AP Calculus AB. Grace Austin, Academics. Miles Barden, Economics. Anna Bay, Government. Miles Bennett, Engineering Design and Development. Sedona Bird, Photojournalism Yearbook. Miguel Bernis, Physics 1-2. Brittany Bin, Government. Ashling Bolt, Multicultural Literature. Megan Botts, Government. Denison Briones, Foods Nutrition. Aaron Bull, Madrigals. Tori Caesar, Creative Writing 2. Carla Castellanos, Photojournalism Yearbook. Kristen Chan, ERWC. Benjamin Chen, Government. Emily Cochran, Economics. Austin Kaufelt, AP Economics. Chelsea Craig, Pre-Calculus. Kelly Dang, AP Calculus AB. Jordan Dorsey, Technical Theater. Isabel Duenas, AP Art History. Yaslin Escobedo Torres, Literature and Film. Kaylee Fong, Spanish Four Honors. Kialani Furuind Davis, Advanced Ceramics. Yongle Fu, ELD Advanced. Kebron Guile, Economics. Christian Green, Foods Nutrition. Christina Wajardo, Psychology. Eden Hughes, AP Studio Art. Mac Hughes, Economics. Tochli Wichi Potsli, Photography. Haley Irby, Foods Nutrition. Weiming Zhang, ELD Advanced. Malin Johansson, Government. Akriti Kahl, Psychology. Tiana Kazi Johnson, Foods Nutrition. Elise Ka, Mandarin 2. Sebastian Lamb, Psychology. Sunny Lamb, Academics. Jasmine Law, AP Studio Art. Alan Lee, AP Calculus AB. Iris Lee, Foods Nutrition. Lauren Leong, Government. Gabby Lewis, AP Economics. Sabrina Lim, Graphic Design. Shaila Maharaj, ERWC. Cameron Mai, Economics. Brad Maroka, Physics Honors. Kevin McDonald, Advanced Theater. Patrick Mishrecki, Engineering Design and Development. Anthony Mock, Madrigals. Violet Muir, English 12. Karina Murugesu, Government. Kaylee Norton, Psychology. Yaru Adku, Figure and Fashion Design. Hana Madoka Osako, Beginning Studio Art. Charlie Pace, Psychology. Sasha Padilla, Symphony Orchestra. Mamta Panu, Advanced Photography. Sydney Fan, Economics. Eric Fong, Mandarin One. Hannah Pilgrim, Journalism. Tanya Pinta Pattaya, American Sign Language Honors. Lola Reed, AP Studio Art. Badr Aldin Sanad, ELD Advanced. Ashley Sand, Teaching Assistant English Literature. Alex Tam, Journalism. Tobias Taylor, Government. Charlize Tran, AP Studio Art. Alexis Treviso, American Sign Language Honors. Carissa Vallartigara, Multicultural Literature. Cassidy Vaughn, Economics. Sophia Velasquez-Clark, English 12. Abraham Villalpando, Economics. Kenneth Vu, Academics. Michelle Vu, AP Studio Art. Jeanette Wallace, Government. Matthew Walters, Forensic Science. Eli Williams, English 12. Penelope Wong, Madrigals. Gianna Wright, Advanced Theater. Adam Wu, Spanish Four Honors. Christine Su, Madrigals. Ryan Yi, Wind Ensemble. Adrian Yen, Madrigals. I'm now going to introduce Carmelina Frasca, a colleague in the Social Studies Department, who will introduce the students who have earned two department awards. Thank you, Sean. 
Again, these students are being recognized for excellence in two classes. Colby Bettis, Advanced Theater and Photography. Raspberry Carpenter, Economics and Government. Megan Chen, Introduction to Engineering and Symphony Orchestra. Kalina Francois, Photojournalism Yearbook and Psychology. Matthew G, Physics 1-2 and Psychology. Sydney Kundert, AP Art History and Engineering Design and Development. Maddie Leopold, AP Art History and Beginning Studio Art. Allison Lee, AP English Literature and Government. Kareem Munn, Photography and Psychology. Brian Nguyen, Multicultural Literature and Pre-Calculus. Adriana Peña, AP Art History and Pre-Calculus. Gabby Pinto, Advanced Theater and Government. Kasser Ranawala, AP Art History and Government. Muzgan Secondary, Ceramics and Physics of Robotics. Eula Jessica Sin, Figure and Fashion Design and Psychology. Emma Trujillo, Advanced Theater and Creative Writing One. Ian Willits, Economics and Economics of Business. Ajazi Zabayos, AP Spanish Language and Culture and Ceramics. I will now ask my social studies colleague, Ivan Garcia, to announce the names of individuals who have garnered three or more department awards. Thank you, Ms. Frosca. Again, I will be announcing the names of seniors who have earned recognition in three classes. Christian Decano, Government, Jazz Band, Multicultural Literature. Paul Friesen, AP Computer Science, Government, Literature and Film. Samuel Liu, AP Computer Science, AP Economics, Win Ensemble. Rafi Overton, AP French, Economics, Government. Oliver Zhang, AP English Literature, AP European History, Marketing. These final two seniors have earned recognition in four classes, demonstrating impressive academic leadership and achievement. Malik Schubert, Advanced Graphic Design, Economics, Government, Photography. Sophia Siopak, AP English Literature, Economics, Government, Spanish for Honors. Congratulations uh, to all the Department Award winners. We continue our virtual Senior Awards Night program with another member of the Social Studies Department and the Scholarship Committee, Jerry Cox. Hello, CSF stands for California Scholarship Federation. This is a statewide organization that honors academic excellence. To be eligible to become a CSF Life member, a student must have been a member of CSF for four out of six semesters during his or her sophomore, junior, and senior years. Students earn membership through a point system based upon grades in certain academic subjects. One semester of membership is based on senior grades. Life members will receive a certificate and a gold cord, and the students' diplomas and transcripts will have the CSF seal on them. Congratulations to this year's CSF Life members. My name is Amanda Staub, and I will be introducing you to the 2020 AP Scholars. As you probably know, every May, Students across the nation take advanced placement tests in a variety of subjects. These exams are quite demanding. Earning a high score is no easy feat. Scores range from one to five, with scores of three or higher making a student eligible for college credit. The College Board recognizes high achieving students in different categories. The first is the AP Scholar designation, which is given to students who have earned a three or higher on three or more AP exams. Shirag Amatya. Miguel Bernis, Julia Chan, Valerie Chan, Benjamin Chen, Luke Chen, Pakmin Cheng, 
Christian Decano, Xander De Jesus, Aliza Diap, Ashley Fang, Devin Han, Tiffany Ho, Ainsley Hogan, Ting Hei Hong, Ryan Huey, Alexandria Ikuma, Zhao Zhang, Rowan King, Samantha Lover, Samuel Leonetti, Garvey Lee, Alex Lung, Angelo McKayan, James Ma, Quentin Magnaga, Karina Muragesu, Samuel Neal, Megan Nguyen, Matthew Nia, Sasha Padilla, Zachary Perry, Hannah Pilgrim, Marissa Ponce, Koster Raniwala, Aaron Ruiz, Jacqueline Tebow, Emily Wan, Christopher Wong Sonata, Ian Wu, Christine Su, Emily Su. One student has earned an AP Scholar designation plus Project Lead the Way, meaning that she has earned a combination of qualifying scores on three or more AP exams and an end of course assessment in the engineering pathway. That student is Alexis Albiro. The next category is AP Scholar with Honor given to students who have earned an average of 3.25 on four or more exams. Alexis Albiro, Emmanuel Barakat, Anna Bay, Brittany Bin, Stephanie Chen, Andrew Chung, Matt V. Kraiken, Edwin Lau, Claire Lin, Jun Lang Lin, Maximus Rojas, Sophia Siopak, Alexandra Tam, Jennifer Tang, Brian Yim. The next category is called AP Scholar with Distinction, granted to students who received an average of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken, with scores of three or higher on five or more of those exams. Aparna Anand Kumar, Ian Atkins, Megan Chen, Mandy Feng, Sebastian Lam, Samuel Liu, Rafi Overton, Connie Shen, Adam Tatarkanoff, Jeanette Wallace, Oliver Zhang. One final student earns particular recognition tonight as a national AP scholar. This senior took eight or more AP exams and earned an average of four or more on those exams. Oliver Zhang. Congratulations to all of our AP scholars. Greetings, senior honorees from the class of 2021. I'm Mr. Goldstein, history teacher at Castro Valley High School, and I have had the pleasure of teaching a fraction of you who are here tonight, though none of you during this memorable senior year of yours. For this reason, I cannot speak about how awesome you were in my Zoom classroom. Still, I would like to acknowledge how you have managed during all four years of high school to succeed despite being stressed out tired and overextended. When things were easy, success was easy. But when things got hard and you needed to perform regardless of how you were feeling and without excuses, that's when you separated yourselves from others. For the times you pushed yourself forward, took risks, included others in discussion, made the classroom both a fun and a challenging place to be, I am grateful to have been a teacher because as I look back on my career preparing to leave it, I know that your work made my work valuable to me. Accept your recognition tonight with pride and carry with you as you leave us behind these traits which have made you so outstanding to those of us who were lucky to have known you. Our virtual awards night continues with Ms. Susan Shi, Assistant Principal, who will announce this year's Herculean Award winners. Greetings, Trojans. The students I will name have earned the prestigious Herculean Award, meaning that each of them has earned seven or more varsity letters while in high school. Please listen as I say their names and detail their sports. 
Cameron Cavillo, seven varsity teams, three years varsity football, four years varsity baseball. Ashley Fang, seven varsity teams, three years varsity girls tennis, four years varsity badminton. Beckman Hart, eight varsity teams, four years varsity swimming, four years of varsity water polo. Quinton Monaga, seven varsity teams, three years of varsity swimming, four years of water polo. Valerie Santos, seven varsity teams, three years varsity basketball, four years varsity track and field. Sophie Siopak, seven varsity teams, three years varsity cross country, four years badminton. Congratulations once again to our outstanding student athletes. Our virtual awards night continues with Allison Zuckerbrow, college and career counselor, who will present a variety of generously endowed community scholarships. Hello, I am privileged to present this year's community scholarships distributed through the Castro Valley Educational Foundation. Because there are so many awards, I will be moving through them relatively quickly, but I hope you will take the time to read more about our many relationships with individuals and organizations who are supporting this year's graduating seniors with generous awards. You can find program information on the Castro Valley Educational Foundation website. We begin with five Lauren C. Poon, MD, Memorial Scholarships. The first winners are Rafi Overton and Jennifer Tang for $250. The third and fourth scholarships go to Leah Baruch and Emily Sue for $500. The fifth scholarship for $1,000 goes to Ashley Fang. The CVHS Athletic Boosters are awarding four $500 scholarships this year. They go to Randall Alexander Kane, Cameron Calvillo, Isabel Duenas, and Ashley Fang. Alexis Alburo is this year's winner of the Charles Durig Memorial Scholarship for $500. Christian DeCano has won this year's CVHS PTSA Scholarship for $500. Next up are five scholarships sponsored by the Castro Valley Arts Foundation. The first two CVAF scholarships, each for $500, go to Paul Friesen and Gabby Pinto. Both Akriti Call and Isis Paulos have won a Jim and Melissa CVAF scholarship for $500. Samuel Liu has won the CVAF John and Bobby Aftermeyer scholarship for $500. Rafi Overton, Isis Paulos, and Jacqueline Thibault have won a Castro Valley Science Scholarship for $500. This year's Dr. Neil Fong Memorial Scholarship for $500 goes to Vincent Sue. Shane Tyag has won the Oh The Places You'll Go Scholarship in honor of Amanda Corbis for $500 and a Supriya Bot Memorial Scholarship also for $500. Winning a second Supriya Bot Memorial Scholarship for $500 is Nikita Thomas. Five seniors have been awarded an Eden Medical Hospital Nursing Scholarship for $1,000. Julia Cedillo, Chris Fung, Nadine Rotino, and Nicole Tran, and Felicia Yi. The Castro Valley Women's Club has again sponsored three $1,000 scholarships. This year's winners are Ashley Fang, Cassidy Vaughn, and Kelly Yu. Kalina Francois is being recognized for three awards the Castro Valley Educational Foundation Teaching Scholarship, the Joe and Elaine Pasquale Family Scholarship, and another Supriya Bot Memorial Scholarship. Each award is for $1,000. Alina Wang is also the recipient of a Joe and Elaine Pasquale Family Scholarship for $1,000. Alina Wang, Carolyn Levans, Vivian Nguyen, Matthew Salas, and Muscon Secondary have each won a Lynn Pletcher Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations to Sunny Lan, who has won the Terry Joker Scholarship for $1,000. Amy McGowan has been chosen as the recipient of a $1,000 scholarship from the Class of 91 for Public Service. This year's choice for the $1,000 Joseph Matucci Memorial Scholarship is Hannah Pilgrim. 
Cassidy Vaughn has won a Joe and Elaine Pasquale Family Scholarship for $1,000. Emily Wan has won the CVEF Science Scholarship for $1,000. The $1,000 Leslie Rothwell Memorial Scholarship has been awarded this year to Sophia Yan. Oliver Zhang has been awarded a 4th Supriya Bot Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. The three winners of the Mary Jubb Memorial Scholarship are Christian Decano, Isabel Duenas, and Paul Friesen. Each award is for $1,500. Muscon Secondary has won the $1,500 Catherine J. Rag Memorial Scholarship. Castro Valley Rotary generously endows several scholarships annually. This year's recipients are Ashley Fang, who has won the Sunrise Award for $2,500. Alina Huang has won the Bob Waberski Award for $2,500. Emily Su has won the Owen Smith Award for $2,500. And Kelly Yu, the Endowment Award also for $2,500. The recipient of the 2021 Karen Gellander Social Changemaker Award is Kalina Francois. The scholarship is for $2,500. The Grace DeForest Nimchik Scholarship for $5,000 has been won by Jennifer Tang. Shane Tayeg has won the Nick Dub Whitaker Scholarship for $5,000. Karina Murugisu and Kasa Raniwala are this year's recipients of the four-year renewable Dr. Mary J. Stam Scholarship for $5,500. Both young women are eligible for $22,000 across four years. Congratulations to all the recipients of Castro Valley Educational Foundation Awards. Thank you again to our generous sponsors and to the Castro Valley Educational Foundation for supporting our students. Next up is Claire Lapel, who will be announcing a number of other individual awards. Thank you so much, Ms. Zuckerbrow, and all of our community partners at the Castro Valley Educational Foundation. My name is Claire Lapel, and I teach English, as well as serve as the chair of the Castro Valley High School Scholarship Committee. I am continuing with the individual awards section of our virtual Senior Awards Night program. Again, we will have a number of individual and group winners. I will be announcing the names relatively quickly and invite you to learn more about the scholarships by clicking on the College and Career Center website. These are the individual award winners for our Senior Awards Night program. We begin by recognizing three seniors who have served as dynamic members of the Principal's Circle. Congratulations to Maiden Hannah, Samuel Jota Kusumo, and Shannon Riley. Ronnie Walla Kosser has earned a Presidential Award from the Red Cross in recognition of her numerous volunteer community service hours. Nine students on the staff of our school newspaper, The Olympian, have been recognized for excellence. These students are Victoria Caesar and Josie De La Torre, winners of the Pat Baccini High School Writing Contest, sponsored by the Outdoor Writers Association of California. Miguel Burness, Mullen Johansson, Hannah Pilgrim, and Jeanette Wallace were recognized for achievement in news writing by the California Press Women. Mullen Johansson also garnered awards in environmental reporting and feature photography from the California Press Women. Nikita Thomas was recognized for sports writing from the California Press Women. Nikita Thomas, Jeanette Wallace, and Tiffany Ho were also given an Olympian Hall of Fame award. Austin Kaufelt was named Olympian Reporter of the Year. Tiffany Ho was recognized by the California Press Women for excellence in graphics, and she was named Olympian Editor of the Year. Elijah Raggi and Ajayz Zavias have each been awarded a $250 Sports Hope Community Service Award. Jesus Martinez and Teresa Spinoza have been awarded a Sports Hope Perseverance Award for $250. Alina Wong and Oliver Zhang have each been recognized for their leadership in waste reduction. Each has won a $1,000 scholarship from CV Sanitary District. The 2021 Douglas K. Rogers Memorial Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Dayton Garrett.
Janice Biggs is going to attend Sonoma State University, where she's been awarded a $1,000 Provost Scholarship. Eileen Chavez has won a $1,000 Freshman Scholarship to Sonoma State University. Matthew Salas has earned a Puente Statewide Academic and Leadership Award for $1,000. The $4,000 Cliff Burton Memorial Scholarship has been split this year three ways. The winners of $1,333 each are Aidan Aguilar, Colby Batiste, and Akriti Call. Oliver Zang is the winner of the Decca Otis Spunkmeyer Scholarship for $1,000. He is also a National Merit Scholarship winner, an award worth $2,500. The Belden Family Achievement Award for Leadership and Scholarship for $1,000 has been awarded to this year's ASB President, Alexandria Akuma. For her commitment to leadership, Alex has also earned the 607 Award for $607. The Verna Pagetto Scholarship has been awarded to three students this year. Haley Irby wins a $1,000 award Cassidy Vaughn, a $2,000 award, and Tiana Cousy Johnson, $3,000. The Oakland Bay Area Lynx have selected Aaron Ruiz and Malik Shumpert as recipients of the Celebration of Excellence Scholarship. These awards are for $2,000 each. Alexis Alburo was granted honorable mention by the Society of Women Engineers in the Next Global Innovator Challenge. In addition, she has won the Mary G. Ross Memorial Endowment Scholarship for $2,250. This award is given by the Santa Clara Valley Society of Women Engineers. Ashley Fang has won a $1,000 Opportunity Scholarship from the College Board and additional accolades from the Chevron Corporation. Chevron has awarded Ashley the Murray Jacobs Jr. and Percy Abram Jr. Scholarship for $2,000. Tiana Cuzzy Johnson has won the Lindsay McDonald Scholarship for $3,190. Amy McGowan has won a State Compensation Insurance Fund Scholarship in the amount of $5,000. Sebastian Lamb has earned a Regent Scholarship from UC Davis for $7,500. He has also been awarded a stipend for $1,500, bringing his total scholarship support to $9,000. Melly Madison has earned the Mines Move Mountain Scholarship from the University of Oregon for $5,000. This is a renewable award, meaning that Melly will be eligible for $20,000 across four years. Sydney Kundert will attend UC San Diego in the fall. To defray her expenses there, she has won a Valley Water Scholarship from the Society of Women Engineers, Santa Clara Valley Section, and a Chancellor's Associate Scholarship for $10,000 per year. This makes Sydney's total grants $41,000 across four years. In recognition of his outstanding academic record, Samuel Liu has been awarded a Regent Scholarship at UCLA. His award is for $14,000 and is renewable, leading to a $56,000 scholarship across four years. Jennifer Tang will attend John Hopkins University next year. In recognition of her outstanding qualifications, Jennifer has earned a full Hopkins grant, totaling $59,700. Madison Redman will be attending Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego in the fall. She has earned two renewable scholarships to support her studies. The first is a Provost Merit Scholarship for $12,000 a year. The second is a Bressy Scholarship for $10,000 annually. Across four years, Madison scholarships total $88,000. Lainey Vaughn will attend Texas Christian University next year and has earned a Presidential Scholarship for $25,000 annually, amounting to $100,000 across four years. Next up, before we hear from Isela Sandoval, our head counselor, who will explain honors at graduation, I am delighted to present senior Christian Decano, who will present a poem he has chosen for this occasion. Tell me, what does this really mean to you? This paper crown that sits on my head, that I've held in my hands for so long and pondered about as I've laid awake in bed. I kept searching for that light, that glimmer, that sheen that gave those seniors three years ago smiles that were the brightest that I've ever seen. 
And it wasn't just because it was the perfect time of day when the sun sat so high heating up the field with its rays. Because even if the clouds rolled over and it stormed and rained, those same seniors would have still marched that field and proudly have taken that stage. And I don't want to compare because our situations are not the same, but it's so hard to avoid when the sun that gave that shine becomes only slivers of light that are only barely able to make it through my window blinds. And those smiles that I used to see, they're now covered by masks and empty computer screens. What I'm trying to say is that I understand because I too put on my cap and gown, looked at myself in the mirror and thought, wow, this really isn't that much better than that paper crown. And I understand because I too climbed up that hill hand after hand long after my legs gave out to chase those myths and legends past years went on and on about. To see a view so beautiful and vast that at the end of your journey would take your breath away and make you say, at last, at last, at last, I'm here. But when you reach the top of that hill, and that is soon, I invite you, oh, I dare you to say those words in the face of what you have all been through. Because even though we might have lost meaning in these symbols that we've held dear, it is undeniable that when you look back, you have conquered all these things that you once feared. So close your eyes once more and feel the weight of the metal on your neck. Or feel that gown lightly hug you as you pull your hands across your chest. Because doing all of this was no short of a great feat. And in the end, you have all inspired me with overcoming this great adversity. So please say this last line with me. In Trojan togetherness, peace. Many years ago, it was decided that naming one student as valedictorian simply did not honor the many students who work hard and achieve excellent academic records at our school. As a result, we now use a system for honoring academic achievements. The names of seniors that you see first are graduating with honor, meaning they have a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.74. They have earned a white ribbon and commemorative medallion. The names of these honored graduates are listed alphabetically. Next are the students who have earned a green ribbon and commemorative medallion. They are our high honors graduates. These students have earned a 3.75 to a 3.99 across four years of high school. Again, those receiving high honors are listed alphabetically.
Finally, we salute the seniors who have earned highest honors, earning GPAs of 4.0 and higher. These students have earned a golden ribbon and commemorative medallion and a personalized engraved plaque, denoting their academic accomplishments. Here are the names of the 2021 graduates earning highest honors. We will move towards the end of our virtual evening by recognizing the students who have been nominated for Ideal Students. Kathleen Cassidy will further explain this important award. Hello, I'm Kathleen Cassidy, a teacher in the Social Studies Department and a member of the Scholarship Committee. I have the honor of introducing you to the Ideal Student candidates. Each of these seniors was nominated by at least one department for embodying the qualities of the ideal student, the individual that every teacher looks forward to teaching each day, the young person who helps the entire class learn and move forward. Here are the 2021 ideal student nominees in alphabetical order. Amira Al-Rabaya, Miles Barden, Anna Bay, Miles Bennett, Benjamin Chen, Georgina Cortez, Christian Decano, Cordelia Dooley, Kalina Francois, Paul Friesen, Tiffany Ho, Sydney Kundert, Lauren Leong, Marina Limnios, Samuel Liu, Amy McGowan, Karina Morigisu, Olivia Osegali, Rafi Overton, Mumta Hanu, Adriana Pena, Malik Shumpert, Sophia Siopak, Emma Trujillo, Cassidy Vaughn, Chris Wangsanada, Oliver Zhang. Let me personally thank these students on behalf of the faculty for their outstanding classroom contributions throughout four years. We celebrate and recognize these fine students for the joy of learning they bring to our school. From this group of stellar young people, the scholarship committee was hard pressed to name a single ideal student for the class of 2021. Still, with nominations from four departments, as well as a host of co-curricular accomplishments, one senior emerged as the winner. The student's name will be added to the perpetual plaque that will be displayed in the main office 
and this person will receive a $1,000 scholarship from the faculty. This year's winner impresses others with his integrity and authenticity. This senior seeks out situations and courses that expand his perspectives and challenge his sensibilities. An undisputed lifelong learner, this senior was said by his AP computer science teacher to see every new concept as a jumping off point for a creative adventure. When, for instance, students learned how to edit photographs using code, this young man decided to turn each pixel of the photo into a different character of the alphabet, depending upon its brightness to produce a poster-sized version of the photo drawn with letters. This senior is an incredible questioner, pushing teachers and peers to greater levels of understanding. And he is so friendly and helpful that his classmates who work with him feel like partners in learning. His honors physics instructor declared that his genuine enthusiasm, curiosity, and joy were infectious, lighting up the classroom. I'm happy to announce Paul Friesen as a 2021 Ideal Student. Congratulations, Paul, and to all of our Ideal Student nominees. Mr. Torpy will now conclude our virtual Senior Awards Night. I'd like to close the program tonight by once again acknowledging the many individuals and organizations from the Castro Valley community who have generously donated scholarship monies. Thank you for helping our graduates continue their education. Thank you to our partners at the Castro Valley Educational Foundation, particularly Sarah Masio, Matthew Kazer, Suresh Bhatt, and Pam Boivir. I would like to thank the members of our incredible school board, Gary Howard, President, Dot Theodore, Vice President of the Board, and Trustees Dolly Adams, Michael Kuziak, and Lavender Lee Whitaker. I am also incredibly grateful to our Superintendent, Parveen Amadi. She and the Board supported this production and, of course, have supported our students and staff throughout this amazingly challenging school year. Other shout-outs go to our members of our classified staff, particularly Abby Pacheco and Pam Santos, for their clerical assistance. Kudos go to social studies teacher Jennifer Sitkin, who collected and organized all of the department awards, as well as our counselors who helped compile many of the lists featured tonight. Finally, I'd like to thank the hard-working members of the Castro Valley High School Scholarship Committee. Jerry Cox and Yvonne Garcia from the Social Studies Department, Emmy Crow Sensei from the World Languages Department, Sean Fottrell from the Science, Amanda Staub from the English Department and English Learner Program Coordinator, the one and only Joe Sutton from the Visual and Performing Arts Department, and of course, Jem Beth, Jeff Fenzel from the Career and Technical Education Department, and Peter Young from the Math Department, and all of the other staff members who supported their efforts to bring you this virtual Senior Awards Night. I would also like to extend my personal and immense sense of gratitude to the organizers of this beautiful program. Our college and career counselor, Allison Zuckerbrow, Kathleen Cassidy from the Social Studies Department, and of course, our scholarship committee chair, holder of the flame and writer of the script, Claire LaPelle. Congratulations to all the award winners and participants in our virtual Senior Awards Night program. We as a school, and I as your principal, and I'm very, very proud of you. Signing off, in Trojan togetherness, peace. <laughs>